Hey what's up guys, Bryce here, and we're back at it again for another video. And man, it does feel good to be back. Um, I did unfortunately test positive for COVID just about maybe four or five days ago, so really felt like crap and I could not record any videos. Still have it, but I'm gonna still try to do my best and record this video. But this is gonna be one of my radical races in Okayama that actually went uh, pretty good. And I did win this race, and this is just kind of talking about what it takes to win in iRacing. Just kind of go over just, you know, the fundamental things that are really, really helpful if you want to get some wins in iRacing. Um, definitely far from perfect in terms of racing, but just quick tips for those of you who just want to know, you know, um, what, you know, just how to maximize your capability on track. So this was a really fun race. It took me a while to kind of get the hands my my hands on just being fast at this track getting to grips with the car the track it's really tricky a lot of playing around with the brake bias to get a, a good lap time throughout the lap but let's get right into this uh race so here's the qualifying lap that put me on pole position you really just need to execute qualifying perfectly especially on cold tires going down into turn one breaking at the 100 meter board flicking the car into the right and just trying to keep tight to the right hand side flicking the car back to the right then you swing it back to the left getting as close as you can to the edge of the white lines but just without going over almost a little bit of snap of oversteer there keeping the straightest line going through these two corners here then we're going to be braking super hard for this right hander that's going to be uphill you can sort of lean the car on the outside of the track um, because it's it's going uphill so you can really just use a lot more grip than normal a little bit of a rest area here we have a bit of a, sh uh, a back straight here but then we're going to be braking extremely hard past the 100 meter board, around the 75 meter board here, keeping tight to the inside, getting a late apex over this little crest here, braking down into second gear, flicking the car into the left hander, straight line of the exit, a little acceleration zone free, going to flick it back to the left, use the exit curb on the outside. Now the hardest part of the track for me, braking right at the 50 meter board, slow the car down enough, but keep up the minimum speed, first gear, short shift into second, little acceleration, then we're going to flick the car back to the right, a really patient, slow speed right hander. Watch out for the exit on the right as you try to maximize the track and just push the limits. Almost flat out right hander. They're going to break super hard for this right hander flick. Throw the car in as fast as you can. Use the exit curb. And that is going to give me a pretty good lap and put me on pole position at Okayama. Now, the start of the race is really crucial. You really just want to make sure that you get a clean start. And that's kind of what I did here. I got a pretty decent start. I kind of moved to the middle of the track just to make sure that no one else would kind of try to dive down the inside. But as you can see, we're pretty clear from all the cars behind. Now with the Radical, there's a bit of a tire phase that goes on with the tires. The tires will first be cold and the rear tires will heat up first. Um, but initially you'll get a lot of oversteer and the car is so light so it's hard to heat up the tires. So the car will have a lot of oversteer initially. And then it'll have understeer because the front tires aren't warmed up. And then once the tires are warmed up, you'll have a nice bounced car. So as you can see on the straight, first lap, we have a little bit of space. So we're just going to weave just once just to, just to kind of generate a little bit of temperature in the front tires. Braking hard into this braking zone. We will generate heat into the tires by braking as well, which is good. And we were pretty fortunate that we were able to pull just a little bit of a gap um, on this first lap. Now, when you are leading a race... It's honestly, I for sure have a lot of respect for those drivers who can, you know, lead so many laps of a race and just keep it clean and consistent because you aren't chasing anyone. You are simply just out there in the lead with every other driver behind you. So really you want to know when to kind of push the car, but since you're in the lead, you don't want to push too much because one little mistake can cost you. So the first couple of laps, I'm trying to get temperature into the tires. I'm not really focusing on pushing, but then you'll notice that the cars behind will slowly start to gain on you. So then you need to start to push a little bit more and not make any mistakes. So in qualifying, you know, it's all about getting as close as you can to those lines without going over it. In the race, it's just about leaving a little bit of margin. So we have 10 minutes left in the race here. And this is a view from the driver in P2. And it's sometimes good to watch your driving from another perspective. And you can see that he was gaining a little bit. This was his uh, fastest lap of the race. So you can see just the lines that I'm taking compared to his. I'm just trying to keep the car under control. But again, we had loads of pressure um, in this race. So as you can see, we're just trying to break the slipstream. 
The slipstream in the radicals is is crazy. You can really gain a lot of time for the from slipstreaming. But yeah, it's all about trying to find a balance of pushing the car to the limit. But again, you're out in front, so you just really want to be cautious and mindful that one mistake could send you, you know, into the grass. So we're out in front here. And we did lead every lap of the race, but I could tell you that I did definitely feel a little bit of pressure from this driver behind who's really pushing the limit. So as you can see here, we are still out in front. We have three minutes left in this race, but you can see we have those two cars behind us and we've just managed to keep it together throughout this whole race. Again, just being consistent, focusing on really just maximizing, you know, your lines, getting late late entries to corners to maximize the exit and just don't let the pressure get to you honestly i'm not really looking too much in the mirrors um, i'm just trying to keep it smooth and consistent throughout the race and then it'll pay off um, once the race ends now in this lap here um, you'll see what happens towards the end the driver behind in p2 actually did lose the car in the last corner just from pushing a little bit too hard i know how that is when you're just you know pushing uh the limits but the Radicals are such a fun car to drive, really definitely in the top tier for me in driving cars and I racing. I definitely want to make like a tier list of some of these cars because some of them are really just a joy to drive. But you'll see the guy in P2 didn't lose it in the last corner, which just shows that just pushing just, you know, just a tiny bit, one little mistake can really um, cause, as you can see, going in the last corner here, he goes a little bit wide on the power. And that causes him to spin. I don't think he hit the wall. Very, very lucky there. And then now we have two minutes left. But now we have the guy in P3 right behind us. And he's definitely going to want this win just as bad as I do. But again, I'm not pushing like hell right now. I'm just kind of maintaining this pace and seeing what the gap is going to be like for the rest of this race. Here we go. This is the last lap of the race. The gap behind is just half a second. And I don't think I showed any clips of the rear view. Uh, wing here so you can't really see how close he is but if you look at the delta on the top left he is half a second behind so he's very close and he did start to gain towards the end of the lap uh, at this point the tires kind of start to just go dead they kind of start to to lose grip i wish they made kind of a longer radical race it would be really cool to include pit stops with the radical that would be amazing because these races are kind of short very much a sprint race so it's all about being consistent and being fast but you can easily very easily make the tires die by the end of the 25 minute mark um, this race is 26 minutes long so the tires are definitely dying but here it is gonna hit these last few apexes here and we will come across the line to win this race you can see he's just right there in the distance he made a mistake uh just in the last few before the last corners but there we go we're gonna come across the line to win the race and yeah that was one fun radical race just all about being consistent and all about just maximizing what you have and just don't push the limits too much when you're out in front um, especially when you have a big gap I have a bunch of replays of when I've crashed being in the lead and I for sure I'm gonna make a video about that just from pushing too hard because say if you do have a big gap there's really no need to put in qualifying laps when you're out in front um, but yeah that's gonna be it thank you guys so much for watching thank you for bearing with me hopefully I will be back to normal soon I can get back to my normal commentaries uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.